What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Tuner Things. My name is Steve. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you're working on. So I am installing my flex fuel sensor while the kids are biking. We're going to put it into the Integra here. I got it all wired up. So we just need to feed the wires to a 12 volt switched power and ground and then the sensor wire to the inside and that should be it. So I'm going to pop the, pop the hood and see what I need to do. All right, did a lot of it off camera because my battery died and my SD card was full. So let me just show you what I got. The wiring isn't pretty, it is temporary. I know I say that a lot, but you know, this one is gonna be temporary. So I'm gonna go over it really quickly. I've already started the car on regular gas uh, to make sure that there are no leaks. I do need to put one more hose clamp on. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see, down there's a the fuel flex fuel sensor with an adapter just coming off the fuel pressure regulator there. Got the wires running through for power all the way over there. That's the sensor signal and that goes in behind the battery. I'm gonna rerun the wires when I have the engine out. As soon as my tax is hit, then I'm gonna finish building the engine and put a new one in there. I'm gonna pull this one out while it's uh, still running. So there's the buck converter that's run to the power over on this side, which is to a fuse under there. Same fuse that powers the gauges. Since they don't pull much, this should be okay. Nothing pulls much. Anyway, um, that goes down to the ECU down here, which I pinned B6, which is an empty pin. That's this wire here, it goes to B6. I know these wires are huge for this, but that's all I have. So then that's going to be six. I'm going to attach a quick connect, a disconnect to that. I'm also going to shorten this disconnect. This is the flex fuel sensor. I can tell because of the yellow. I will actually probably leave this one on for now, uh, just in case I want to move things around or whatever, but I am going to shorten this a little bit, I suppose. And, uh, Get it hooked up to the Arduino here. I've taped it all off so it doesn't ground out. There's the power. Here's my little screen. Eventually I'm gonna bring the screen out and I will put it somewhere else. Um, I will actually probably get another screen for it to be perfectly honest with you. And I think I am gonna leave these long in case I wanna pull it out and actually look at it while I'm monitoring, like leave it over here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. I know it's a mess right now but it's okay. It's all gonna be cleaned up here in a couple revisions. I also wanna add Bluetooth to the Arduino. That way I can monitor on my phone and build my own Bluetooth gauge. That would be cool. Uh, I don't really know where I'm gonna put it yet. So we have the output from the, um, we have the output from the Arduino over here to the input b6 that's what this one is made that one yellow and this one has the yellow tag on it for e85 but the blue is the connection to the sensor i know this looks crazy right now but you know i just wanted to give myself enough length look at all that length i could get rid of most of that Ooh, prime not for me once i figure out where it's going to be i just don't want to have to extend all the wires and you know all that crap Get it some power and go grab a longer uh, USB cable and then um, get it started. Make sure it's working and registering. And then I will pour some E85 in, which is actually E70 because it's a winter blend. So let's get it. All right, so I'm going to warm the car up enough so that it's not running on its startup uh, cranking fuel. I just want it to be a little warm. And. 
That's good. That's fine. I don't want to be trapped. Ah, perfect. 10%, 11% ethanol. I know that looks all funky on the camera, but 66 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a little off. There we go. Yeah, it's registering correctly, 10% ethanol. So that's great. That's uh, E10 is what I have in the car. It says it has 10 to 11%. I'm gonna start dumping some E85 in and we'll see what happens. That's it up there, okay? Oh, you guys can't read that. It says 10 to 11%, so we're gonna give it a shot. starting to react. Ethanol is at 11% now. 13% ethanol. 15% ethanol. And this is uh, registering on the return, so it's obviously handling it okay. 15%. 18%. 15%. 15%. 26. Air fuel ratios are the exact same. Put it on analog three for the display here on Tonda tuning suite. And it's bouncing around a lot. Oh, yep. Air fuels are a little bit funky. That's okay. Still good. Let's see if it's going up at all as it mixes. 32% ethanol. All right, I'm gonna go for a little drive, see how she does. side. bit more fuel. Ideally, I 
would like to just have it uh, tuned on E85, full E85, be able to switch my map on the fly. Give her some, give her some beans. y'all right, i'm gonna sign off here thank you for watching make sure you smash that subscribe button uh let me know if you guys got any suggestions for this flex fuel stuff um yeah i'm open to it thank you for watching peace out cup scouts